Welcome to the Perrysburg Podcast, Episode 15. I'm your host, Kim Newlove. The Perrysburg Podcast is an informational podcast for prospective new and current Perrysburg, Ohio residents. We talk about what's in Perrysburg and why people like to live here. This podcast is hosted from the perspective of a Perrysburg resident, that's me, who's trying to share what she knows about the city with anyone new here, anyone looking to move here, or anyone already living here. You can find the show notes for this episode on perrysburgpodcast.com. Today, we're talking about Hood Park. That's H-O-O-D, Hood Park. The name of the park comes from John Hood. He's the man who donated the land for the park to Perrysburg. Hood Park is one of our smallest city parks. Location first, where is Hood Park? You can find Hood Park at 105 West Front Street, Perrysburg, Ohio, 43551. There's a sign for Hood Park on Front Street clearly marking it, you can't miss it. Where can you park? Parking is limited, but there are two parking lots. Follow your GPS to 105 West Front Street and you'll find the bigger of the two parking lots right there. Please note that between 11.30 a.m. and 1 o'clock p.m., that lot is usually full because of the lunch crowd. They all park there. The restaurants in downtown Perrysburg are very popular for lunch. For example, Zingo's and the Hood Park parking lot is a popular place to park. The other parking lot is at the foot of Louisiana Avenue where it dead ends into the river. If you're watching the YouTube video that goes along with this episode, you'll see a red pickup truck, that's my pickup truck, parked in the second parking lot for Hood Park. If you don't know about the YouTube channel for this podcast, you can find it at youtube.com forward slash at symbol Perrysburg podcast. Look for episode 15 and pick the thumbnail with the YouTube logo on it. The audio version of this podcast is also syndicated to YouTube, and it is marked audio only with a picture of some headphones so you can easily tell the difference between the audio version and the video version. Now that you know where to find Hood Park and where to park your car, let's talk about what's in the park. Real quick, I need to thank the folks at Historic Perrysburg, Inc. for some of my information. I learned a lot from their website, which is historicperrysburg.org. Thank you, Historic Perrysburg, Inc. At this time, I'll talk about 10 items altogether. Actually, I already mentioned the sign for the park and the parking lot. Those are items one and two. Item three is the boat dock. Number four is the statue of Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry. Number five is the Civil War Memorial. Number six is a History Happened Here plaque about Corn Cob Hill. Number seven is a World War I Memorial. Number eight is a war memorial for several wars, including World War I, World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Gulf War. Number nine is an Ohio historical marker from the Ohio Historical Society. And finally, number 10 is the city of Perrysburg's Christmas tree. What a fun way to end this. All right, let's continue on with number three from my list, the boat dock. The Louisiana Avenue boat dock is located in Hood Park, of course. Just follow Louisiana Avenue north until it dead ends into the Maumee River. You'll have to drive behind the statue of Commodore Perry to get there. It is a steep hill. I am serious. If you have kids and you're going down on your bikes, make sure your brakes are working. If you're a local, you know what I'm talking about. It's no joke. That is a steep hill. April through October, there is a 50-foot public boat dock in Hood Park. It is dismantled and stored over the winter. Why dismantle it, you're probably wondering. I'm guessing, as a local, I'm guessing it's because in years past, parts of the dock have been damaged by ice flows. If you can picture the Maumee River, it's got a bunch of chunks of ice in it. Every once in a while, they all pile up on the shore right there at Hood Park. And I have some video of some ice flow damage in Perrysburg from March of 2015. That's in the YouTube video in case you're wondering or interested in seeing what that looks like. It is a lot of ice. All right, but 
In a normal year, during the spring, summer, and fall, boaters can dock at the Louisiana Avenue boat dock, and at no cost, they can park their boat, tie up, and visit downtown Perrysburg. If you are a boater and you want to tie up overnight, no problem. Just notify the Perrysburg Police Division. They have a non-emergency phone number, which is 419-872-8001. That's 419-872-8001. That is their non-emergency number. Just let them know you're going to leave your boat overnight so they know you're there. The Perrysburg Boat Club is right next door to the public boat dock. If you are not a member of the Perrysburg Boat Club, please use the public dock. One last thing about the dock, then I'll move on. You can launch a kayak using the Louisiana Avenue Boat Dock. In fact, there is an ability-friendly kayak launch at the Louisiana Avenue Boat Dock during the boating season. Some might call this an Americans with Disabilities Act Accessible Kayak Launch or an ADA Accessible Kayak Launch. I don't know about you. I have a family member with a disability. We use these accessible kayak launches all the time. Even if you don't have a disability, they are a much easier way to roll into the river. Check it out. Now, even though you can launch a kayak at the Louisiana Avenue boat dock, you cannot launch a motorized boat there. Use the Maple Street launch or the Orleans Park launch instead. Next on my list is number four, the statue of Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry. That's Perrysburg's namesake. The statue of Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry sits at the corner of Front Street and Louisiana Avenue. It is a beautiful statue. It's mighty large, too, and I highly recommend it as a backdrop for important pictures. Homecoming, prom, graduation, etc., this statue will be around for decades to come, so if you like taking pictures at parks or in front of historic landmarks that are going to stand the test of time, I highly recommend that one. Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry statue. Item number five is a Civil War memorial. According to Historic Perrysburg, Inc., this memorial is a monument to the Civil War soldiers and sailors of Perrysburg Township. The monument stands 27 and a half feet high and is made of Vermont granite. The figure on the pedestal is a flag bearer, or a color bearer, if you will, in a Civil War uniform. An inscription below says, A tribute to the soldiers and sailors of Perrysburg Township, 1901. Emblems of various branches of the military are on each of the four sides of the supporting base. Next up is number six, the History Happened Here plaque or the story of Corncob Hill. As you read it, you'll be facing north and you'll have a great view of the Maumee River and Audubon Island. The plaque reads, You are standing on Corncob Hill, where corn was once shelled, weighed, and lowered into hopper cars into a grain elevator below, thence onto ships. Under the bridge to the left is the foot of the rapids where non-native settlement started in the Toledo area. Less than two miles upriver, Anthony Wayne and his troops won the Battle of Fallen Timbers in 1794, opening this part of Ohio and Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin to settlement. From Ewing Island directly ahead... Wayne defied British troops at Fort Miami's across the river by destroying their Indian allies' corn crops. One mile upriver at Fort Meigs, American forces under William H. Harrison helped bring an end to the War of 1812 in this part of the nation. In the flats to the right, wooden ships for river and lake commerce were once built when Perrysburg was one of the most important ports on the Great Lakes. The hydraulic canal that provided water-driven power to Perrysburg's early manufacturers started upriver near Buttonwood and ended at the foot of this hill. Donated by Historic Perrysburg, Inc., 1995. There you have it, Corn Cob Hill. Next up is item number seven on my list, a World War I memorial. 
The memorial is a three-foot-high stone inlaid with a bronze plaque bearing the names of the men of Perrysburg and vicinity who answered the call of their country in the World War. I'm assuming they're referring to World War I because it was erected and dedicated by the Service Star Legion in 1934. World War II had not happened yet. Right next to the World War I memorial is item 8 on my list, a stone war memorial for several wars, including World War I, World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Gulf War. At the bottom of this memorial is the phrase, gone but not forgotten. Just down the road from Hood Park in Riverside Park, you'll find Perrysburg's new Gold Star Families Memorial, which is a tribute to Gold Star families and relatives who sacrificed a loved one for our freedom. With Veterans Day coming up on November 11th here in the United States, remember to thank veterans for their service. Freedom is not free. Thank you. Now on to item number nine. We have an Ohio historical marker from the Ohio Historical Society. This marker is located in the Front Street parking lot for Hood Park. If you park on Front Street, you can't miss it. The historical marker has two sides, the west-facing side and the east-facing side. I'd like to read both sides to you. The west-facing side says, Following the War of 1812, settlers reestablished the 1810 Maumee River Town, Port Miami of Lake Erie, on the land below the deserted Fort Meigs. The inhabitants nicknamed the new town Orleans of the North, in honor of New Orleans in the Louisiana Territory. Orleans was destroyed twice by the river's spring ice flows. Consequently, on April 27, 1816, at the suggestion of the town's founder, Amos Spafford, the United States Congress agreed and a new town was platted to the east and up on the bluff. Spafford named the town Perrysburg, formerly spelled Perrysburg with an H at the end, in honor of Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry's 1813 victory over the British fleet in Lake Erie. Wood County was founded in 1820 and included Maumee, which separated when Lucas County was founded in 1835. Perrysburg was the county seat from 1823 until 1870 when the county government was moved to Bowling Green. That ends the content of the west-facing side of the historical marker. I'd like to read you the east-facing side at this time. It says, Ohio Historical Marker, Perrysburg Platt Map, the 1816 map of Perrysburg was drawn by United States government surveyors Joseph Wampler and William Brookfield. The town's original outline was marked by streets named East, West, and South Boundary, with Front Street on the north. Louisiana Avenue was named to commemorate the first town down on the flats, Orleans. The only two towns in the United States laid out by the federal government were Washington, D.C. and Perrysburg. 2008 Historic Perrysburg, Inc the Ohio Historical Society. That ends the readings on the east and west sides of the Ohio Historical Marker in Hood Park, Perrysburg. The last thing on the list for Hood Park is number 10, the city's Christmas tree. According to Historic Perrysburg, Inc., a large blue spruce tree was planted at the entrance to Hood Park in 1976 when Perrysburg celebrated its 160th birthday. This is the town's official Christmas tree. Now, as a local who's been here since 2007, I would say that the Levis Commons Shopping Center Christmas tree is kind of like the town's official Christmas tree now, but I bet there are people that would say that the original official Christmas tree is in Hood Park. All right, that's it. That ends my list of features of Hood Park. If you're planning a visit to Perrysburg, Ohio, check out Hood Park when you're in town. It will take you about 30 minutes to look at everything. Then you can take a stroll down Louisiana Avenue and check out the rest of historic downtown Perrysburg. Thank you for listening to episode 15 of the Perrysburg Podcast. Please visit perrysburgpodcast.com to read the show notes. 
In the show notes, you'll find a link to the YouTube channel for this podcast so you can check out the video, my list of Hood Park's 10 features, Historic Perrysburg Inc.'s website, and more. If you know someone who wants to move to Perrysburg or is new here, please share this episode with them. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Perrysburg Podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next week.